Hi, I think I'm going to post this on my Slobo Motion channel here on YouTube. I have another channel called Cute Cat Faith here, and I also post things on Daily Motion under Lisa Fallour, and that's all one word. Um, I'll try to put some information in the low bar. Now this is a, a video I just saw. It's about 23, 24 minutes long. And it's by a guy named The Desert Artist. And he doesn't post super often, but he posts periodically. And um, I like the channel a lot. Seems like a really good guy. Uh, he's done some really interesting clips. If you're interested in mining, for example, about uh, setting up a mine or something, he's, he's doing that. And it's pretty interesting. I like the channel a lot. I always look for what he's doing. He, um, today is the 24th of April, 2012. Apparently, his friend, uh, committed suicide in his backyard this morning. And he's sitting in the chair and crying and talking about bullying and things which had been very hard for his friend and for himself in life and um, it's very very sad uh, there are a lot of good thoughts in here you might really want to see this I've shared this with some people I've uprated it and favorited it um, and since I'm probably going to post this on another channel I won't be able to post this as a video response to him unless I subscribe to him on the other channel, which wouldn't be such a bad thing, I guess. Um, bullying is, is really bad, whether it's physical or uh, psychological. And uh, the suicide issue is always really serious. And uh, he's had a couple of friends kill themselves in the last two and a half years, apparently and he feels that probably he could have done more um, I really feel that I feel very sorry for people who commit suicide um, because I think that uh, they doom themselves to being hungry ghosts for eternity to commit suicide again and again but I have every sympathy for uh, people who are abused in some way or another and it just gets to be too much for them you know they're defeated um, the the Jews have a feeling about suicide where it is forgiven if the person is determined to be mentally ill but it's a very serious issue in a lot of cultures societies and religions and um, I think that the the most the aspect that I can relate to the most is the role that all the rest of us play. You know, if we see people being mistreated at the job and we don't stick up for them and say anything, if we don't show any solidarity, uh, oh, I have a family, I've got to put food on the table, I can't get involved, that sort of thing. Um, believe me, if you're seeing it or are aware of it going on right around you, it is likely to happen to you at some point and no one will defend you either, whether it's at that job or in that exact situation or not. I have some clips up from 2010. In September of that year, psychological abuse became uh, actually illegal in France, uh, particularly in marital situations, which was quite interesting. I haven't heard that much more about it, but again, apparently it's actionable. And um, this, this sort of thing really, really hurts people. And it's very interesting what this man says about his own situations with being bullied and being in the military and how he never physically fought back and how he chose to deal with it 
and I think what he says here is very valid so again this channel is called the desert artist I recommend that you take a little time <clears throat> and look at this it's quite a good channel you might want to subscribe you might like this clip a lot even though it's very sad and you might want to share it with some people and discuss it with them um, A lot of good points raised here, and uh, the man is obviously extremely distraught, and I hope somebody is there to look after him. Uh, it's, it's really bad, and the French have a saying, if you're going to commit suicide, um, and it's, for example, that you're being harassed at work, kill yourself in the workplace make sure that there are proper written notes found on you and sent everywhere <laughs> you know it's kind of a, a callous way to look at things but um, you know if it gets to that point and you still have any lucidity I would say name and shame and God help you because uh, because you've suffered so badly and because I think you're going to, uh, I don't think it's going to be good for you karmically, but that's just my judgment. Um, the guy here on this clip actually talks about nearly committing suicide twice. And it's very interesting what he says. And I really applaud his uh, decision not to get physical or violent when he got into a bad situation and the lack of solidarity that he experienced as a young person and later in life <coughs> really speaks volumes and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> makes a lot of people around him guilty by association I hope they can live with themselves you know having having been abused as a child and bullied in school and elsewhere and at work and having to deal with domestic violence um, I can relate to this a lot uh, some of the reactions that I've had from people and administrations and the legal system and stuff have been very very shocking very discouraging you know it's kind of like blame the victim oh something's wrong with you you must have done something wrong you must have provoked them surely you cannot expect us to stand up for you well you you are I hope I hope <coughs> excuse me I'm having some trouble breathing I have a bad heart um I hope that I hope that you see this okay thank you bye